Hey, it's Captain Brian, and uh, getting ready to put the boat in the water pretty soon, a couple weeks. So, uh, next step, uh, I've already done some bottom painting. Uh, replaced my zincs. And uh, hung the canvas. And uh, But the boat's still dirty and needs a coat of wax. So, um, usually what I do uh, while it's out of the water here, I'll hit the sides and uh, at least up to the rub rail, if not up to the tow rail. If I have enough time and energy, I'll get all the way up to the tow rail. And then I can do top sides when I'm in the water, no problem. Uh, so, um, first step is to wash it. And sometimes you have access to a hose, sometimes you don't. Uh, oftentimes I just, you know, use a glass cleaner like Windex or this stuff. Uh, and some rags and a bucket, a small bucket of water for a little bit of rinsing and I'll just clean it that way and uh, so I'm going to get started doing that and then I'll come back with a coat of wax. So Got myself a decent sized ladder and uh, gloved up, you know, normally I wouldn't worry too much about glass cleaner but I'm going to be doing this for hours so you don't want to get it all over your hands for hours at a time. So just, you know, take care of your skin as much as you can. And uh, I'm just going to start cleaning up here. It gets real dirty around the anchor. Get that all clean. Um, cleaner you make it above the, up to the tow rail, the better, because then dirt doesn't drip down over your fresh wax job later. So, uh, so I'm definitely going to clean up to the tow rail. So let's get started. And, you know, you'll see some stuff that doesn't come off readily, but when I go to uh, wax it, I'm going to use a one-step cleaner wax, and that will rub some of these hard stains off of here. So I'm just going to get the loose dirt off mostly, and then we'll take care of the rest on the wax phase. All right, so <clears throat> went over, went over the sides with the glass cleaner. It's reasonably clean, clean enough to wax. Uh, there's some streaks here and there. Hopefully, the wax is going to take that off. Uh, so I went through about th three rags to do this side of the boat, and uh, you know, rinsing and then replacing. Now it's time to do the waxing, and uh, this is the kind of wax I'm going to use. Um, Meguiar's uh, One Step Cleaner Wax, so that'll help to get rid of the streaks and stains and leave behind a nice coat of wax. Now this is almost a 20 year old boat, so it's not going to be perfect. You know, I'm not expecting a high shine like a newer boat. Uh, but my goal really is just to get a coat of wax on there so that the dirt won't stick to it and it'll stay cleaner, especially when under the rub rail where I can't reach during the season very well. Uh, so it spends a lot of time in the water not, not getting washed, right? The top sides get washed more often. So uh, I just want to make sure I got a nice coat of wax, uh, at least up to the rub rail, probably up to the tow rail, and then we'll uh, see what we end up with. So I'm going to take microfiber cloth, get these at Home Depot, take your rag, get it wet, bring it out outside the bucket to keep it from continuing to get more and more dirty. And then get some wax. And then, it's hard to see where you've finished, but if you get to the side, you can see where it's hazy where you did already and not hazy where you didn't. So, just do a section, try to spread the excess out over sort of the area, and then you wax on. Wax on, right hand. Wax off. 
left hand. Wax on, wax off. Breathe in through nose, out the mouth. Make sure you spread it out nice and even. Try to work on some of these stains, streaks, stuck on bits. Because this cleaner wax will do a decent job of taking light stuff anyway off. It's not compound. Compound kind of grinds away at the gel coat to, you know, uncover sort of a fresh coat underneath, but I'm not really into that. It's too much, too much effort. And, uh, you know, I'm, I don't have time to do weeks worth of multiple coats of different products, right? So I'm just trying to get this done, get it in the water so my family can enjoy the boat. That's working. All right, this is about the time when uh, everybody starts saying lines from uh, Mr. Miyagi. Show me wax on, wax off. Show me wax on, wax off. Catch! 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 And you don't want it to sit here and dry for hours either. You want to, especially with the sun on it, it's better to do this in the shade because the sun dries it real hard and then it becomes hard to get off. So if you get here earlier in the day, it's, it's this kind of a fine line between it's still dewy out so it doesn't dry and it's, you know, the sun baking on it. So somewhere in between is the perfect amount, you know, where it's cool, it's in the shade, it dries naturally, and you can wipe it off before the sun just bakes it on there real hard. Then, you, then you're really working hard to get it, get it shiny again. All right, the wax is on there. I'm not sure if you can see it at all, but it's dried to a haze. I did the whole side of the boat, all the way up to the tow rail, and uh, it's you know started down on this end, so it's dry. And uh, so I can start wipe, buffing it off. And the way you can tell that it's dry enough is when you buff it, it turns into dust. And you shake the rag and the dust comes off. If you see dirty, gummy stuff building up where you're wiping, then it's not dry enough. So you gotta wait. And uh, it usually is faster to uh, buff it off than it is to apply it. So I may catch up to the wetness part way up the boat. So I gotta take my time, make sure it's dry. The end I, on the front where I just finished. So I'll start back here and work my way forward. There we go. A coat of wax on there. Just did the one side. I gotta do the next, the other side next week. It's uh, it doesn't look perfect, but it's got a little bit of shine to it and uh, it'll stay good stay clean longer, more clean throughout the season. So I'm happy with that. All right, see you next week. Hey, it's Captain Brian. And uh, it's uh, hopefully the last weekend I've got to work on the boat to get it ready to go in the water. I've uh, touched up the bottom paint. I've removed the uh, shrink wrap, hung the canvas, um, waxed one side of the boat. And uh, I'm gonna wax the other side today. Uh, in the meantime, I wanna uh, charge up my batteries because they've been sitting around for six months. So I've got one of these converters where you know I can plug the line one of my boat into regular, you know, power. So there's an luckily there's an outlet nearby. So I'm gonna plug this puppy in. I have a hundred foot spool I can bring down, but I lucked out, I'm pretty close. There's one right over there. So, uh, get plugged in here. It's 
So that's it. I finished waxing the other side of the boat, um, hung all the lines uh, so that the, the marina folks can uh, lift the boat, put it in the water, and the lines will be there for them to tie it up. And the um, last thing I got to do is uh, put the plug in, uh, the drain plugs. Uh, you know, the marina would do that, but if they forgot, the boat would start sinking, so I don't want that. So put that in, make it nice and tight. Um, doesn't have to be, you know, you don't have to worry too much because the pressure is always pushing in on the thing, right? So it's not going to work itself out. But uh, make it snug enough so it's not going to be loose and uh, leak. Um, and that's it. Um, I'm ready to go in the water. See you there.